dear friends, welcome back. Thank you for your support as usual. Igbo indigenes who come from communities based outside of the southeastern part of Nigeria are not qualified to seek the presidential position in the 2023 election. This is according to a former Senate president, Anim Pius Anim, a, form, a popular supporter of Igbo presidency in 2023. The nation's report on Saturday, January 30th, that Anyem said Igbos from outside this region, from states like Benue, Delta, Edo, and River States, cannot contest for the presidency. The report quoted Anyem as saying, Political office zoned to the southeast does not extend to Igbos from a zone outside the southeast political zone. With Anim's submission, Igbos like Minister of Transport Amechi, who is from the Igbo community in River State, should not look to the southeast 2023 presidency. Anim was said to have issued a statement of disqualification while delivering a lecture at the 6th World Igbo Summit at Grigori University, Uturu, in Abia State. The lecture was titled Identifying the Political Interest of the Igbos of the Southeast Geopolitical Zone in Nigeria and strategies for its actualization. Anyem's words will come as a big blow to the likes of the Minister of Transport, Rotimi Amechi, a top all progressive Congress chieftain from the Igbo community in River State, who is said to be eyeing the presidency in 2023. Meanwhile, report has it that a bipartisan group of Southeast political leaders have urged the ruling All Progressive Congress and the opposition People's Democratic Party to cede the ticket to the zone in the spirit of justice and national harmony. The Igbo leaders said on Tuesday, January the 5th, that any party that does not zone its 2023 presidential ticket to the southeast would not get the region's vote. This was part of resolutions reached at the end of a bipartisan meeting of southeast political leaders at the Camp Nea Iberi in Abia State, that is Ojuzokalu's country home. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? The Southeast has rejected the selection of Igbos from outside the political region as President Buhari's successor in 2023. The non-Southeast Igbos were issued a disqualification notice by the former Senate President and Pius Anim at an Igbo summit. Anim Pius Anim argued before prominent Southeast indigenes that the region would not accept as Igbo presidency in 2023 a transfer of power to Ndigbos outside the East. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? We are yet to get reactions of other people on this particular issue as it were. It suggests that other people, other Igbos or people from the Igbo uh, tribe that are in other states like Benue states or probably Kogi states, Delta states, Edo states and River states would not contest or will not be accepted as uh, 
but will not be allowed to contest as a, a candidate of uh, the presidency in 2023 as they strictly want the candidates to be from the core Igbos. So now you can see the discrimination that we are talking about. When we talk about the Southeast not being together, this is one of it. This is one of the issues. You are fighting for the presidency of Southeast extraction and you are not even sure of getting it yet. And you are putting already structures in place to um, segregate and also cut off some people. And these are people who have supporters, who you also will able, we will need their votes because they have supporters who are following them. And you will need every vote possible you can get to win the election. And you are now, even prior to the election, segregating them, cutting them off, and telling them that they cannot contest. So how do you expect them to also take this particular situation and issue? How do you want them to run along with you? How do you expect them to follow suit or follow you and uh, be with you on this particular journey of achieving the presidency of uh, the Southeast extraction? It shows that there's a dichotomy of uh, who is a core Igbo person and who is not a core Igbo person. And you begin to see this division creeping in gradually. Marginalization will eventually set in. And before you know it, there is a new agitation for another set of people or group of people who feel or think that they are not core Igbos and they will create their own nomenclature and they will be addressed. So at the end of the day, you see the problem continues. It is sad and unfortunate that um, even before the journey kickstarts, these people are already shooting themselves in the foot. Well, I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. But I see it as division, I see it as segregation, I see it as a dichotomy, I see it as uh, favoring a particular sect of people from the other. I understand that you might want to point to the fact that Good Luck Jonathan has tasted power being a South Southerner. But the truth remains that these people you are cutting off who are Igbos, to a very large extent, they have a stake and have claims in the Igbo land. So why cutting them off or setting them aside? So why are you trying to tell us that you have the core Igbos and the non-core Igbos? Well, it is what it is. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but I do not think this is a smart move for the agenda of the 2023 presidency from Igbo extraction. Well, drop by at the comment section let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story as it were don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories endeavor to share these new stories with your friends family relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now